Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat, I'm Dan. I'm trying a new microphone. I have a blue snowball. As you might know, this is the fifth test video. I was supposed to test my pop filter that I just bought, but I can't attach it on this table. I can't attach it to the snowball and I can't attach it to the table, but I think it will fit my table in uh, the villa. I'm in the apartment right now, so screw that. And let's play some modern playing Soul Sisters. So I want to know how the sound sounds on this video, because I have now invested 200 bucks in improving the sound here. So I hope it, uh, it is to your satisfaction. I want to become more professional as a podcaster and as a YouTube person. I am uh, quite serious about the Fan of History channel and about this channel, of course, and I have five other YouTube channels at this point, but those are the two big ones. So I like, it's very hard to type with this thing standing in front of me. Okay, this is not the mulligan. Martyr or Sands, Flagstones, Martyr, and uh, we don't need a stop in the upkeep. Uh, that wasn't the Flagstones, <laughs> sorry. A bit distracted by everything. So, what do I want? Uh, Ranger, I would say. Okay, maybe this is for the best. Then we can get uh, the Squadron Hawk. Moth Nexus is poison. I have not played against that with this deck. It takes away my biggest advantage, so uh, it should be a hard matchup, shouldn't it? Getting one Squadron Hawk then. And now let's see what he does. I go quarter the Nexus, of course. I could claw is harder to deal with. Much harder to deal with. Uh, honor, interesting. So what about Ghost Quarter, Honor, or Martyr, Squadron Hawk, then we can actually block as well. So Flagstones, Martyr, and then we can get the last two Squadron Hawks. And we are happy to tree for one ourselves here. Or are we? He's just gonna have a growth spell. This will be tricksy. Okay, we're not happy tree for running ourselves. We will wait until we can cast on all the pure. Getting the squadron hawks. And staying back, blocking. Okay, I'm gonna drink coffee. Tell me if you're here. Because I've stopped drinking with the headset and that's really irritating because I want to drink all the time when I play. Okay, so we are now blocking the Necropede with the Squadron Hawk. Or with the Martyr actually. So you can have three giant growth and wins here, but it's not likely. Why did the Nexus not attack? I would have blocked it, of course. Right? Yeah, two for one in my head. So now I have to play Squadron Hawk. Honor. I don't want to draw any more land.
And then I, he's gonna have to use a grow spell to save his Ico Claw thing. And then I'm just. Oh! That's not good at all. Pendlehaven in effect, haven't seen that before. Now time to start ghost quartering stuff. Oh, he goes for that. Then I'm gonna try to double block the uh, Nexus instead. Hell no, I am not. I'm gonna try to kill that because I can kill the Nexus with the Ghost Quarter anyway. Not dead from two Yank Roads. Mutagenic growth is pretty bad, but it's better, better the dudes than me. Listener Elf. Ranger of Eos, he can kill that guy. And then we can play a lot of stuff next turn. So let's play the Ranger. So what are we getting? We can't get to 30 life, so the What's our choices here? Martyr, Sarah Girl, so, so everything is pointless. They are pretty much all the same. So I'm getting double Soul Warden. And I am destroying the Nexus. Honor of the Pure really helps here. But I feel that I am living dangerously. So I'll take out Pendlehaven next turn and cast all my creatures. And I'm trying to kill Iclomir again here. So what happens if you give it plus one, plus two first? He didn't attack! What the hell? So maybe I can go for my uh, uh, my Windbrisk Heights trigger next turn. Yeah, I'm not gonna attack. Don't fear. Have no fear. Okay, it is point. Uh, it has a point to gain life because. Uh, the Sarah girl could get huge, and that will be very decisive actually, so it is necessary to play the Soul Wardens first. So now we're getting somewhere, I think. And next turn we'll attack with the three of them. So we can trigger. Oh. oh, I thought it was legendary for a second there, but I should have played Windbreeze cards long ago. No, I've been ghost quartering for a couple of turns. I think he's being way too passive here. But I can play the planes, I can play a blocker, I can play Ranger of Eos. No, I only have... Yes, I can. So, swing with everything. Q. 
Casting the Ranger. Yes, getting uh, the Sarah Girls. Actually, a Martyr and a Sarah Girl. And we play the Martyr. Go to 27. Now sacrifice it. Reveal these two cards. Go to 33, play the Sarah Ascendant. And this is starting to look good. As we do have a lethal attack next turn. And he concedes the match. Warrior. Block him. Or did I just do a single duel? Damn it, then I can't count this. Anyway, it's good for the sound test and it's good to showcase the Soul Sisters deck. So uh, I'm gonna upload it anyway. Tell me what you think about the sound. I bought this blue snowball mic yesterday. I'm not testing it to the pop filter now because I couldn't really attach it. I will test the pop filter on Wednesday. So I'll make sure I'll save the receipt. And thank you for watching.